How's it going guys? I'm Oz and welcome back to another episode of Oxen Free. Some crazy shit has been happening with this game. We've been separated from Jonas. I don't know where he is. Like he's on the other side of this door. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let oh, so now I can open it. And for okay, some reason we can see the other Ryan. Cause that that sucked. Uh Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection. It was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a pic. Okay. Make it snappy. No, get it? Go. I'm choosing not to get it. So what is this thing he made? Hang on, this wasn't here before. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. Still don't like it here, guys. Three, four, eighteen. I'm glad I didn't have to remember and that. And voila! Who said? Uh, you tell me. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. So let's just carry on. You know what it reminds me is, um, who are they called? The, the Darkness? Is it The Darkness? Um, the ones that sang that's oh, the Sound of Silence. I'm gonna hate to go out in that. Down with the sickness and So stuff. actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look you at me. You were locked in the room by yourself, seriously? Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. <laughs> That's great. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, Ooh. don't... Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. Yeah. A Renisode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. But Ren... Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this, is this going out, or, wait, I can, ugh, I can hear myself, that's oh, not, man, maybe God, she didn't just, see us, anybody... I don't know, but, whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. That's that old mat, mad kind of bat that died. It's kind of got a Bioshock infinite feel to it. Like parallel universes and stuff. Ugh. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil. Obviously. Mm. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Oh, yeah, seriously, well, man. Somebody's <laughs> gotta keep the traditions alive. What was that? You you heard that, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Why would I know? 
I don't know. All right, fine. We'll both be in the dark together. Metaphorically, I mean. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Want to play a game? Nice. Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was... Uh, the school for armed services? Our friends are finding this tough. But... Do you think us cruel? I don't care, just don't We hurt. don't hurt playmates. Oh, Jesus. What, what is going fuck? on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Who Ten. would know that? This isn't you call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. We are an island race. Oh, no. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you? Uh... Doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Five. Ten. Eighty-five? Correct. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just break my mouth in and charge you. This is the kid. You miss Vince? Ah, that's right. We have to do this again. What? I just merge with you. What? It's my partner and with you. I am. I didn't need to get that far. States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near. Is this. Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Canaloa? We are the sunken. What? What do you want? Oh my god, we're the first time. We're the first time. We're the first time. Time. Just time. What? I. That was not 
fun. Are you feeling better? <sighs> I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. So where is she? Oh, hang on. I'll let little Levin out. to get back up here. That's a moment there, Lemon. We meant to go back that way? What about this window? Can we go? Hmm. No, we don't go any of these ways. Hmm. Because, I mean, our friend's not even following us, so... What are we to do? I think they do want us to go that way. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, so now that becomes available. God damn. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um. Uh, huh? That's not good. Clarissa better not be dead. Cross your fingers. Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So... Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. You just sounded really distressed, that's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? Mm. I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex. Want to take a look at this? Sure, why not? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a way... Those officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh. Jonas, wait, we're in another... You got looped again. Crap. Well, Clarissa! Is there anything like. Can we what? cut her down with something? Oh, 
Holy crap. What is Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... It's not gonna work, Jonas. Huh? How do you know? Call it a hunch. Well, I'm still gonna try. Clarissa! Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you oh, okay? Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not... It's not like we're... I can't believe this. I, I can't believe she would do that over... I mean, things are, are bad right now, but you, you can't just... I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I'm... Uh, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. I... Wow. Um... There's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw... Oh my... Oh, my Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just... Maybe she just twisted her... Twisted something, or... Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible, cuz... did just go through a... Uh, sort of a... Temporal anomaly, a, a time thing? Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless, good news? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, this is so interesting. I don't know how to sort of feel or say or do or... Wow. <sighs> Let's cool. just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Tom Tower, so yeah, we go down. Four out of twelve anomalies. It's crazy, man. So, we're working out that it's the miners that are the ones that, like, are talking to us. But why? Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This isn't. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not. Ugh. My God. Is this what I sound all right. like? If Ren and Nona are in the How can tower, anyone stand to listen to me all day? Where did Clarissa hobble off to? Let's talk to Ren and Nona before we try and find her. Because, like, I don't know. Maybe they know something we don't. Okay. Maybe she's going back down to the beach? Hey, I, I saw you guys coming up from the tower, the Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I well, thought we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here and we'll come up with something. I mm. hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. You need Just, a therapist? I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know... We... Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down- You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. 
Don't say that. That's not... That's not nice. Oh, God. This is a seriously interesting story. Oh, there she's there. She kind of looks out of it. She all right? This thing doesn't work. Okay, good. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, It's out been ghosts. Nona, ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it really? would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, that name she was has mentioned, a boat. Though. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. Oh, My sister, God. Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, 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 we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a well, burn... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. No. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> there's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. I think it's just Ren, the brand he's talking. understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. No, it should be it's obvious really to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, mm. we all grew up with each other. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are you even talking about? You have no- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable mm. basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Just shut up, both of you. Yeah, for goodness sake. Sorry. Say, okay, keeping like in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Or your new psycho stepbrother. All right, she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's fine. Let's just go. What? First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? I didn't pick anyone. Him. 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 him? Ren, come on. It'll be fine. We'll watch the walkie-talkie. Ren, we're still, we're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like, like, I want to be, like, needed. Just... <sighs> Just fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. I thought he would have been happy spending fun. more time with Nona. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay, before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Oh, whatever. Oh, so we can actually talk to it? Get out of the way, Jonas. Seriously, come on. Oh, God.
come on. I'm serious. You gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little cranky. I'm not cranky. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Oh, he's like sweet. Now, don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, all right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Right, well, let's get out of here. I think little stars and stuff are moving in the night sky. Isn't that quite nice? Little stars. Fine little details. I think they're stars. I think down here these are bugs. them being so minuscule. I don't know if I like not being able to see their faces properly and their reactions. I mean, you solely have to re rely on the voice acting and stuff, but the art style is really nice. Which kind of makes up for it. This is really annoying how it zigzags down the fucking hill. How can we make the game stretch out? Oh, just like making the paths really annoyingly complicated. Okay, so whereabouts do we go into town? I guess Mooney's going to the Epiphany field and then across the thing. And then all the way back. Oh, God. No, I didn't want to listen to the jazzy music. A little baby snoozing over there. He's a little snoozer. Okay, look. I'm gonna say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. That distinction is important, because I don't think anything You, that I like, completely lost it up there. And for no reason, either. I mean, we should be, like, in this- Yeah. Um... I don't want to go to Milner Post. I don't want to go to Two Wee Woods. What's this way? Is it's it together. Way? I know, I know. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blow up. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air too, just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But the whole I went to jail thing, I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. And this is the truth. You beat up a guy. Just, my mom got sick, and then she got real sick, and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head, and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds, and I'm not going to defend myself. What happened to the other guy? Hospitalized. Not for a while, but, the hell? you know, I tried to visit him after I got out, but he wouldn't see me. Oh, My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. So it isn't anonymous. I'm not gonna say I'm a good guy, Alex, but I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. You are a good guy, Jonas. I'm a scary judge of people. I'm like a bee. I can sense stuff. <laughs> but I'm serious now. You're a good guy. Okay? Say it. I'm a good guy. Okay, alright. I'm a good guy. Let's just move on. <laughs> The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. 
The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. What the fuck? That's the creepiest one of them all. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. Oh. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early version. What we're going to be doing later then. I hope so. That'd be awesome. Why bother mentioning all that without. Oh, get down. Am I going the right way? I don't know if I am. I'm curious to see what's down here though. So that must be the estate. It's huge. We'll go there some other time though. This is the bridge, this must be the way to the town. Is there another pile of stones? Yeah, let's try this. How how many of you are there? Is that our voice? How What is this? Oh, goodness me. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. Ah. A type of radio frequency identification wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This okay. That sounds interesting. Oh, I Am I going the right way? Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah, because that's where we went down to... Yeah. Now it looks familiar. Okay. I'm going to have to end it there, guys. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys shortly in this the next is... one. I want to... Shush. Take care now. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'm a bit scared. All right. We got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Oh, my God, guys. You're such children. Oh, Alex! Come down here, please! 
Clarissa. We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started.